Hello everyone, my name is Shelby and this is the series where I reveal what is inside these mystery pottery molds I found on Gumtree. Hello, hello, we are on mold 80, which means there is 20 to go until 100, that is wild. So today, pouring up this little cutie, it's a three piece mold. It's got quite an obscure upright shape and one of you already guessed what it was last week in the sneak peek. I think it is pretty evident with the shape with the rounder bottom and then the narrower top, but I opened it up to reveal this gorgeous little bud vase. Now it was so gorgeous, but when I flipped it over, I noticed that there were all these scratching marks and that is evident of a damaged mold. So I'll show you that in a second. So I prepared the piece by cutting off that little pouring spout. Then I smoothed off those mold seams. So I got my knife and trimmed those back. And then with those little scratch marks, what I am doing is gently scraping them away. So something about clay is it always has a memory for wherever there's been a scratch, wherever there's been some sort of movement, whenever it's slightly warped, it kind of has this little memory it keeps. So my mission with scraping it is to just try and smooth it over so it's more like a patch that I can sponge away rather than cutting them directly off. So you'll see me sponge that in a second, but let's have a look at this mold just so you can see the damage that is inside. So it's quite an old mold. It's got number 842 and as I open it up you could see the scratches straight away. I was very nervous as to how damaged this piece was going to be but it looks like it repairs quite nicely which is really great. We've seen this in a few other molds where there's been damage that it actually repairs really great. The other thing I wanted to mention is I have done so many of these molds so far but this is another one where it doesn't have a title, it's just got a number, it has no brand name so it really is a bit mysterious when you're looking from the outside as to what it will be inside. So for this week's theme, I have been sitting on these vases for a while because I do pour them in advance so that I've got a couple prototypes to play with because when I started this series, I would do like one or two and then I'd break them and then I had nothing to sort of reveal. So I've been doing a couple pours each week and I was sort of sitting on these pieces because they are such a beautiful flat surface. They have so much potential for any kind of design and I was really keen to do another butterfly study and redeem myself from an earlier butterfly study and then I was thinking about even expanding into some like little beetles or something like that but on an earlier video two weeks ago someone reminded me that it's pride month this month and I couldn't miss the opportunity because I missed it last year because pottery is such a long process. I always get to Pride Month and I've already got everything finished, all the content finished, or the latter, it's going to take too long to finish in time for the month. It always happens. It happens for Halloween, it happens for Christmas, it happens for any sort of cultural event. Anyway, I instantly stopped that idea. I didn't quite stop it. You'll see what I mean. But I stopped that idea and I thought, wouldn't it be lovely to feature some beautiful pride flags on these pieces, but to bring that butterfly concept to life by carving out the design over the top of the pride colors. So in these vases, I featured a few different flags, the pride flag. So I've got the traditional rainbow flag, which is the gay pride flag. I've also got the transgender flag, the non-binary and the pansexual. So what I did was I added those colors onto each one and then sketched these gorgeous little butterflies out and carved them out over the top of the design. So it was pretty much rehashing my idea that I was already going to do, but giving it a bit of a pride element, which I'm really happy about because what was a really beautiful idea on its own having the symbolism of the butterfly has been empowered with the fact that it is pride month and it sort of resembles a lot of our coming out stories is it's sometimes a process of transformation sometimes we're cooped up like little caterpillars in our little cocoon 
and we don't ever truly reveal ourselves as the true beautiful butterflies we are until we're allowed to be free and to come out as who we are and love the people we love and be in the body we deserve. I know my platform reaches all sorts of people and I love, I love my pottery, but if I can use just this one video to reach people that maybe don't understand why Pride Month exists or maybe haven't even heard that it's Pride Month. Pride Month is the month for the month of June. It is a commemoration honoring of the Stonewall riots that happened in the 1960s. So I would suggest you do your own research on that. But not only is Pride Month about the commemoration and honoring of those who have come before us and who have made waves and changed the laws, the rights, the recognition of people just deserving to exist in the body that they belong in, but also love the people that they love without being vilified and criminalized. Not only is it about that, it's about celebrating those people. It's about celebrating coming out. It's about celebrating everything the pride community has done for the world and how much of a brighter place they make this world. And whether you are a part of the LGBTQI plus community, whether you are an ally or whether this is the first time you are hearing about this, which I hope not. Regardless, I would like to wish you all a very happy and wonderful Pride Month. I hope this month has inspired you all to use your voices to advocate for more change and to ensure that LGBTQI plus community continue to have their voices heard, their rights and laws accepted and their existence recognized as being valid. Onto the glazing of these beauties. I poured them all up. I dipped them in. I didn't have the glaze bucket full enough. So you saw me brushing on that last little bit. And then I also showed you carving away a few little drops and sponging the bases, which I don't often show you. I popped them in the kiln and here is the finished results. These are stunning. These pieces are so much more stunning to me than usual because of the message that they represent of the butterfly and the transformation of the butterfly to being able to fully come out as its beautiful self on top of a flag that means so many things to so many people and it's a, a sign and a resemblance of hope and understanding and validation of existing in this world as you are. So all of these came out so wonderfully and if I'm talking about technique, I do love the look of the non-binary flag, the way that the black and the white carving is more contrasty because that was the only flag that had black. I loved how that carving really popped. As for this flag, this is a pansexual flag, I tried to mix a hot pink up but unfortunately I sort of missed the mark a bit. It still looks like this sort of pale pink color that you can see on the transgender flag. I would like to play with that more, but I have really struggled to find a nice hot pink. It's kind of like brown. You can't get those really like hot colors to work. You get more of those pastel and some vibrant colors. I did have a few little pieces chip off, but I feel like that adds to the character and it doesn't feel like a, a wrongdoing on my behalf. <laughs> I think that maybe if these vases were a little bit softer and I didn't wait so long to decide on my idea that you wouldn't get that chipping so much, which I've talked about in another video is that I did it when it was too dry again. But regardless, I, I love these. They feel very special and it's such a lovely thing to do so thank you to the person who suggested that in the comments two weeks ago here is your sneak peek for the next reveal which i am bursting for i am so excited to share it with you thank you so much for watching this week's video please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more so thanks for watching